It's an it's another globally local recipe. Vegan eggplant parmigiana <laughs> with linguine noodles and fresh marinara. See, it's an Italian dish in case anyone didn't know. Look at that. Look at that. Eggplants. And that is a traditional recipe. And look at all this good stuff in it. And we're going to have it because husband, husband is the cook. There's a pasta. We are pasta lovers here. This is the sauce. These are the eggplants. They look so good. Way better than than dead baby cows, poor cows, taken from their mothers who are forced to be milked over and over again until they're of no use and just sent to slaughter. So this is actually dairy free and it looks freaking amazing. You can't go wrong with pasta or anything tomato or eggplant. You just can't. So this looks amazing. Husband said he didn't like the chunkiness of the sauce, so he put it in the blender, just made it a little more um, sauce-like. Sauce -like. But that's his own. See, you can you can do whatever you want. His looks more like presentable and Instagram-ish. Look at that. Oh, look at that. See? And he's put on some nutritional yeast flakes because we don't have Parmesan cheese anymore. So we've done really well. He's not vegan or vegetarian, but he's embraced a lot of this really well. So, look at that. That's eggplant. So it's the 11th of August, 2016. We have another globally local recipe that my husband's cooked up. It's called crispy something 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 something. Crispy ramen noodle chow mein. With veggies and tofu. And look, there's quite a bit of uh, prep, but that's okay. I mean, the uh, stuff, whatever. I didn't do anything, so I don't care. Look at, look, he's unveiling it very slowly. Oh, it smells really awesome, actually. So you've got cabbage, you've got celery, you had a purple pepper, onion, carrot, garlic, ramen noodles, vegan oyster sauce, which is made of tamari, sesame oil, brown sugar, cornstarch, you got your tofu marinade, which has tamari, sriracha, brown sugar. You got your block tofu and you got your cremony mushrooms. Doesn't that look effing incredible? So I'm going to take an Instagram photo of this. Vegan. We don't have tofu in every single recipe. Actually, most of them don't have tofu uh, that we've gotten. But it's always amazing. We learn, well, my husband is a cook, but he learns a new way of prepping things, don't you? He's nodding his head. Yes. Did you learn anything with this? Um, like something new you might use in another way. Of no, it's all stuff I've done before. Oh, well, look at him, mister. Get get a few meal kits under your belt and, you're, and, you, and you gain a whole bunch of confidence. So this is really good. And as evidenced, my husband has enjoyed this, I think, as well. Any Any words? Guy's mouth floor right now. More. I want more. He actually wants more, and he doesn't generally eat uh, many seconds. So I'm taking it. He likes it. That's awesome. See? Good food. No animals had to be killed. No dairy, no meat. So you can have, like, um, you know, so many varieties of food. When people ask what vegans eat, what do you eat? Just, just, just salads? No. No. Have you seen some of the various foods I've had in my vlogs or in yeah, the This vegan salad food? has noodles in it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not usually a big fan of ramen noodles, but this is pretty good, um, actually. Because of that, uh, of the tofu for me, because uh, I love the way it's seasoned. Mmm. Yeah. Um. It just goes to show that, well, it helps to have recipe prepared meal kits. I mean, it's not prepared. He he spent like an hour cooking it or whatever, but um, or you know what I mean, putting it all together. But they they have the ingredients in the bag for you, precise measurements and that. But it's up to you to cook it and everything.
but it's so great. It's so worth it no matter how long it's taken. And what a difference, like what a change from the last meal we had. Everything, it's always, always something different. Mm. What I keep noticing is all the flavors, all the different flavors. It's all about seasoning when you're eating good food, you know? It has nothing to do with meat or dairy, actually. In fact, I've found that I enjoy the flavors of food much more now than I did before. Okay, I better go. But that's that's it for this globally local food dish. And, uh, oh my god. See, I don't think you can eat all that either. But hey, that's pretty good. So, see you guys. When was the last time I had two servings? I made him say it again on video. Because it's true. He doesn't do that. He does not have two servings. I'm still on my first one because I'm replying to stuff on Instagram. I do love it though. It is tasty. But that's, that's like, though you can see all the dishes in the background. That's the thing about home cooking though. You gotta dirty the dishes. It's, it's worth it though. Especially if your husband has had like two servings, feels satisfied, satiated. And, and let me remind you, I'm the one that's went, gone vegan. My husband did not go vegan. And every meal we've had of these, pretty much, except for when he's not been hungry, um, he's enjoyed as well, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all depends on what he's eating during the day as to whether he, you know, eats, um, whether, you know, he eats, he eats uh, all his food or not, but... I don't feel bloated. Yeah, yeah, you don't feel as bloated when you eat this stuff. You don't get, like, the... Um, meat sweats. No meat, meat sweats. Yeah, I haven't had meat sweats since, well, way before I went right vegetarian first. Right now we just had first. heat sweats. Heat sweats, yeah, because it's a freaking human, human, we got a heat wave going on. But yeah, we have heat sweats, but we don't have meat sweats. No meat sweats when you go vegan. No, no dairy upsets. When to quickly get changed since Smudge is already being curious. Aren't you Smudge? Smudge. Smudge. So, I didn't get a food box yet because it was like in between pays, so I only had a little bit. That I could work with, so I just grabbed a few groceries from Globally Local that were just delivered. Remember, my husband is not vegan yet, so it's like I'm in transition a lot. Like, you know, from vegan, although there are vegans that have this so called junk food, and you're still vegan as long as it's meat and dairy free, you're vegan. But this helps a lot. These are my favorites, so these are some suggestions if you aren't vegan yet, or if you're someone who's not going to. Um, cut out this sort of stuff you want to still have this kind of thing because you want to hi chai okay these are amazing in fact i said the first time i had them and every single time i've had them they taste better than any crab cakes i've ever had excluding the crab potatoes my dad used to make this and even then i've never had something like this that t it's so so freaking good it's so freaking good and see so freaking good it's and you're like i can't see anything so this is really good and this is going in the fridge so there's a like a few meat so-called meat there's no meat and this is also flavorful it comes with the sauce um i saw somebody mention on somebody's uh video about how with this out the sauce it's like you're having nuggets and it's exactly right but we have the sauce with it I have and it's great it's very flavorful very yummy and I don't know if I've had these before so I want to try them but so far Guardian 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 has not let me down they are amazing they are amazing so as you can see it's hot so these are going in the freezer but I recommend these especially for people who are um, in the midst of uh, cutting out meat products. There's so many choices and you will you will be surprised by the chicken. Th that same product I just showed you also has a chicken strip that my husband loves. Or it's it's like a chicken strip. Like it looks it's it's not as it's not it's better it's way better he loves them 
So it's another globally local recipe. It's spicy peanut and veggie soup with brown rice. That's what it looks like. And these are the ingredients and it says, uh, peanuts are legumes, not nuts. I did not know that. Peanut plant flowers above ground. Well, the peanut grows below ground. The more you know. And this food is in it. And all this sort of stuff happened. And uh, this is it. This is it in, in the pot, the rice and the, the stuff. And this is my bowl. And husband's bowl is over here. Look at his. Look how nice that looks. Look at that. Definitely peanut and good. I like the onion use of this ginger in it mm -hmm. and garlic and you got your greens and other stuff carrot celery right yep what do you what do you think of it i like it before i put some in for lunch tomorrow i package some mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, you need salt for this one right this one needs, I do. yeah this one needs some salt but the flavor is very good very tasty um and, and and the brown rice is a good uh, good balance for the the soup. It's uh, supposed to be a soup. So, what do we rate this one? Pretty okay. Pretty get the cat off the table. I give it three out of five furry kitty cats. Three out of five. No, I'm saying more like a four. I don't know if it's a four. It's pretty good. Mhm. Mm good. Yeah, it's good. For a soup, it's very satisfying. Yeah, he said that after a, a nice um, sigh, like a like a satisfied sigh. And when people ask what vegans eat, well, you need all sorts of stuff. We have a lot of what um, gardein gardein meats, some often, and they're amazing. And you know, but you can use a carrot, a celery, potato, onion, all this stuff, stuff you eat anyway. But this every meal got to admit every meal we've gotten from globally local with the recipe although it's a lot of work for husband um every meal is always satisfying isn't it it's yeah. not like oh that was you know and you never eat it going oh this would taste better with a side of dead animal flesh no you're like this is good Okay, steak would not have worked with this. No, well, obviously not. But I mean, with any of the meals we've had, it doesn't feel like, oh, it's missing fish or chicken or anything. It, it's never like that. It's always like, this is a really good meal. This tastes delicious. And no, you're not also thinking, this is vegan, this is vegan, this is vegan. You're just thinking, this is good, filling, wholesome food. And, that, and, and, and I like the variety. And I look like I'm just playing with my food, but I'm going to shut up now. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't mean to sound like I'm preaching with it. It's just, if you're lucky enough to be able to try stuff like this, like these meal kits, um, I really recommend them, especially when, if you're still, um, especially if you're learning how, just even learning how to cook in general. Like I said in previous times, uh, my husband has learned so many cool tricks because of some of these recipes. One of them he learned about um, uh, for pasta, putting uh, margarine and garlic uh, in the pasta after it's prepared to make it. I mean, you just learn really cool things. This is, this is a meal kit. It's been a few days but since we got it. but. Uh, it's going to be Mexican stuffed peppers with garlic lime aioli sauce. It looks half and delicious. Oh, it's got quinoa in it. That's what. Oh, yummy. It's got lots of stuff. It says a prep time of 60 minutes, but we found with the 30 minutes that it's like oh, it's an hour of prep time. That, but that's only because it, it's my husband's very exact. And also, these guys are professionals, so... I think it varies on like just how you do things. Oh gosh, no, I took the tape off. Oh no, I'm ruining everything. Um, but that's that's the recipe. The that, that's why I don't let you cook. Back. That's See, why you're I, not cooking. <laughs> that's why I don't cook. I get out of the kitchen. Um, but this is what it starts out as. I think See, they do most of prep, but you've got to chop your veggies and wash them and, and cut in them and 
this is where I visit you and get out of husband's way because he's the he's the man. What's really great is you put like the garbage of you know whatever garbage you have back into the bag. So the bag gets used for that. Yeah, I'm stepping away. But you see it like that. That's a before video of it. And we'll see what it's like in a couple hours. Okay, I'm recording. So I was going to tell you a joke, but you probably think it was corny. Huh. That, that was it. Folks, I'll have you know that I don't entertain his terrible puns. It looks scary, doesn't it? I mean, if you're if you're used to processed foods and blah blah blah, you see all the these vegetables and you're like, what? This is this is honestly really simple. It's just cutting them open, emptying them out, and putting this stuff. In. Oh, you're getting too complicated. You're bailing me now. Okay. It's a lot simpler than no, it's how pretty the cool. Stuff I've done. I don't know why. I, it, it takes an hour because it takes a long time to cook. That's why. Um, I, I've got a lime in the fridge that I got the other week for you to put into your drinks, and you never used it. But have you got the lime in the coconut? I don't, and I can't drink it all up. Um, they've prepared the sauce. See, they do some of the stuff for you, also, you know, because they're nice, and they do this, which is really cute. I mean, it's just what you need. See, and they label stuff so you know. I mean, this is a Mexican spice mix. You're not going to get confused with the cilantro. Um, this is where I have to get out of the way again before we go. Oh, look at that quinoa. And his scissors. Uh, and cats. Cats everywhere. Oh, and they added this. Not They didn't do this the first time that we were ordering these. But they're on now every time that they or that we ordered them. They have like this nutrition facts thing, which is pretty awesome. Look at that. Vitamin A and, and, and vitamin C and calcium and iron. Iron, iron. Your dietary fiber is through the roof. Your protein is 30%. And this is on amount per serving size. And it's going to be like, what, how many? How many? Six, from what I'm seeing. Yeah, like this is a lot. So just like, this is, okay, your calories are low. Your fat is low. But it's, you know, it's all right. No trans fat. Got a little bit saturated. Your cholesterol is zero. Your sodium is meh. Your carbohydrates are there, but your fiber, guys, 61% per serving of fiber. Look at that, guys. Protein, 30%. When people say uh, to vegeta vegans, you really get your protein, bro. Are you kidding me? It's in our plants. It's in our plants. We, we get protein in our vegetables. You get your protein in your vegetables. We all get protein in our vegetables. I'm doing Oprah's car thing. You get a car. It's not as funny. He's smiling a little. Anyway, the point is, looking at this very interesting. And look at this. The stuff you need. Calcium, what? Didn't have to milk a cow for that? What? And other stuff, 375% vitamin C. And iron, iron, iron is really good for you. Seriously, this is crazy that nobody would just talk to us about it and say, guess what? You can eat tasty stuff that doesn't have any dairy or meat in it. And uh, you're going to get what you need out of it. And believe me, I'll probably eat more than one serving because I'm a big girl, okay? So think of all the iron I'm going to get. Think of all the fiber I'm going to get. I don't have problems going to the washroom. I have fun. No, I'm just in and out much quicker than I used to be. See, this is where he's doing the scary part. The cooking kind of thing. So this is where I back away slowly. Ah, uh, no, he's, he's... And the cat's just sort of... Has an update. So corn, garlic, and tomatoes are already in there. Putting in the, the fried onion. I'm not that smells better than onion, garlic. Oh my gosh, tomato. He's got 
beans that when one of them fell. I'll get that for you. It's supposed to go in the bowl. I'm a good person. I eat the bean. And this is the quin quinoa, which I love quinoa. I never knew I would until we got um some. Sorry, I got in the way. So we got some um like pre packet like easy quick make ones. It was actually really super tasty and kind of tangy. Um, it looks like you're eating fish eggs. I don't know. I'm never eating fish eggs, but now I'm in his way again, so he'll probably want me to get out of the way. But now I have to add the Mexican spice mix. Look at that. Look at look at that. And then it's still got the oven to go into and everything, folks. So it's like, yeah. Look, he did the knifing of the corn. See? Oh, we're missing it. We're missing it. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. it smells like tacos. It does? Oh, it does. Mmm. Look at these colorful peppers. Stir oh. until evenly combined. Okay. He literally probably will stir until it's evenly combined. Oh my gosh, it does smell like taco. And you're wearing a Deadpool shirt. And you just dropped a bean on the floor. I'm getting it, kitty. Don't worry, I'm not eating this one. It's going in the garbage. Sorry, kitty. Sorry, chat. Look at it. You're wearing, you're wearing a Deadpool shirt and it smells like tacos. Get it? Because... Oh, every bit. I got it. I got to start recording because, um, oh my gosh, it smells good. Mmm. Can we just eat that? Screw stuff in the green peppers. Let's just have that. Wait, what? You're talking about how this might taste good on its yeah. own? Well, they're all stuffed and this is how much you got left over, so you'll get to eat some on its own. Oh, can Not I try some? Can I try some right now? Wait, it's for documentarian purposes. I get a piece of tomato on here. Hold on. Okay. It's a tomato. Well, I'm gonna, gonna try. I'm gonna well, I drop to a tomato. Okay. Mmm. 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 spicy. Let's get a look at these. Now the cilantro and the, go the sauce after. goes on after and the lime goes on after. So if you're in the London, Ontario, St. Thomas and the area, go to globallylocal.ca. No, I'm not getting paid or I'd, I'd link below my referral thing so I could get 10 bucks off. That'd be awesome. But Mostly people from far away watch these. But look at this. Look at this. They want you to put the tops on or to have the tops off? Tops on. I gotta put uh, some vegetable bouillon at the bottom before I put it in the oven. Why? That's how you do it. Where does it say that? Right here. Mix bouillon cubes with two cups of hot water. Pour into baking dish so peppers are immersed in broth. Bake it up three for Where's the minutes. cube? Right here. Ready to go. I gotta pour the water. Like, is it vegan? Is no, it it's, vegan? It's beef. It's chicken no, he's joking. Oh, uh, these are cool. Look how pretty they are. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a. Should I take a? Should I, should I Instagram that or wh when they're done? When they're done? Whatever floats your boat. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? Ooh, look! It looks like food, folks. Mmm, they smell like food. Quite quite liquidy down there. But they're very good looking. Not as colorful as before. Might be might be a little too good, but they still look good. No, I'm not the only image there. I got the browning. The browning happens. It's nine at, it's nine at night and we're hot and impatient. So we didn't put them on the plate all pretty. I got mine in a bowl. Got the creamy garlic stuff on them. 
the inside tastes awesome and it's gonna be delicious it's just super hot for cooking with the oven that's the downside but they look great they look super and I'm so glad we get to try so many different types of food. What do we think of that? Peppers are really good. It wasn't too spicy for me. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't a spicy. And the garlic aioli sauce is great. Oh, it's very good. Garlic is one of the best seasonings ever. Um, you can't go wrong with tomatoes. And it's interesting. I stuffed peppers are very popular with rice. But uh, using the quinoa, I don't know how to say stuff right. Uh, it's not bad either, you know? You do need a bit more salt. I haven't added salt, but the salt helps bring out flavor, or? Mm -hmm. What'd you think of it overall? What I would like you it a lot. Good. The pepper's pretty soft, like, to eat. You know, I know I sound much more tired and less excited. It's just because it's late, and it's hot. Like, after you've had the oven on, it's hot. But, got lots of leftovers. These are the kind of meals where, you know, you wish you had a family or people to share it with. Husband's getting rid of the water that was in the bottom of the baking dish that had the broth. Really, I, I don't know what the broth did. I don't. I don't really. But the, the uh, peppers are drying out. Oh, well, the peppers definitely didn't dry the, out. The broth had flavor, so I made sure there wasn't uh, oh. water. Yeah, the, the peppers are definitely very um, soft and not dried out at all. And considering they browned, that's really good. No, I, I'd say, I mean, this isn't my favorite recipe. I'm just going to say that straight up, okay? I think that the peppers, the red peppers used in... Um, that, that sauce, that pasta sauce, was actually much tastier. Mm -hmm. But I think that this was a really interesting way to have quinoa, beans, corn, tomato. Like I said, that, that garlic sauce can't beat it. Yeah, um, it's awesome. It's not over spicy. Definitely flavorful. And like I read to you, the nutrition label. You're getting so much that you need. Husband's blowing his nose. Um, would we ever do this recipe again? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because there's so much left over. You definitely get your money's worth with these meals. Okay, so we can have a bit of this and we're watching. What are we watching? The nice guys. Russell Crowe and uh, Ryan Gosling. Really, it's kind of comedic how they play off each other. Very good movie. Very good movie. So, finishing that up. But, yeah, another great homemade meal. Just a bit too hot for, not not spicy hot, but, I mean, too hot for the oven this time with the heat wave. 31st but. of August, 2016, and we just had a late delivery of our meal kit because I, I keep... Uh, renewing and canceling just to make sure that anyway I got myself a cucumber and what's that oh it must be the bill and paper oh this must be parchment to go with one of the meals no kiddos so that's the nutritional yeast which yeah there you go it's the same as last time mm -hmm. except quite a bit more there's a mango I ordered a mango Acorn squash. It's a good bit damp. Wow, they're wet. What do we do about that? Oh, do we the dry them? Okay, so acorn squashes. We we love them in autumn time. Honestly, this is a good day to receive that. Where are the papers for the? <gasps> they they forgot the recipe paper. Or is that what these are? You got to open it up. There's no recipe paper. That's parchment. Yeah, so, whoops, this is the first time they've been like, hey. Figure it out for yourself. 